Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. On Tuesday, this Southgate neighborhood is quiet and peaceful. Wonderful neighbors. Everybody looks out for each other, and uh, it's a place you can call home. It's the home David Constantakis has known close to 40 years. But on Monday, his beloved street on Walter near Pennsylvania became a crime scene. Coming home from work, I saw the caution tape. Uh, I don't know if it said crime scene tape, and they were looking in one of the cars that was parked on the street. Uh, I investigated a little bit and uh, was informed that it was a missing persons report. Southgate police say that missing persons investigation led to a husband confessing to killing his wife. Family tells us the victim is Ileana Luna. Police say they haven't positively identified Luna's body, but they strongly believe it's her. Luna's loved ones, who aren't ready to speak on camera, say she was the rock of their family, who always took care of others before herself. First, we think about the victim. You know, we want to pray for her and make sure that, uh, you know, justice is served. Right now, police believe Luna's husband killed the 42-year-old at her Southgate home. Then police say the husband tried to cover up his crime by moving Luna's body nearly 40 minutes away to the West Ridge Mobile Home Community in Superior Township. It's a terrible, tragic situation. Detective Michael Murphy says for the last few years, their department has noticed an uptick in domestic violence and other violent crimes. Murphy believes it may be partly because of the start of the pandemic. We think that may play a role, being stuck in the same place around certain people. And obviously people are going through hard times, which will also affect their actions. Murphy says that pattern continues today. With the changes in recent years, uh, the government legislature is trying to keep down incarceration rates. And many times as officers were going out, we're dealing with criminals that are having a lack of repercussions which just leads to us dealing with these guys being repeat offenders. In this case, the husband is now in custody. Meanwhile, Murphy wants other domestic violence victims to know there's help. Take any steps that you can to reach out to us, be it 911, reach out. If it affects you directly, we have uh, resources. We have domestic violence shelters. We're going to come out and respond to anything that is called in. Southgate police tell us right now they're continuing to investigate before they turn this over to the prosecutor's office for charges. In Southgate, Veronica Meadows, Fox 2 News.